here is the FN600 Leorio. It has a camera inside the bonnet. Good morning, and that's uh, day four of Agritechnica, the last day. Um, that I'm gonna be here, I will uh, go home by train today. Here is Crown again. I still like that right. Pellet uh, Baylor in the next scene. Uh, the pickup, then it's with a belt system. The straw gets moved into the baler. Uh, and actually it's not like a classical baler, it's two rolls that press the pellets out. One has holes in it and it falls through the holes. It goes into the bunker, it has an air system, it has a lot of belts. It's a very uh, complicated machine. That's a four rotor rake from Kuhn. Uh, it's a little bit different to the Krone rake because uh, the Krone is everything direct driven and on a Kuhn is uh, everything hydraulically driven so you see on the front it has a uh, hydraulic pumps to do uh, the hydraulic motor but that's similar to the Krone but not the same I don't know if it's greased uh, like forever like the Krone that's a Bell Baron Canadian machine and you can put like 18 idiot cubes with 18 kilos to one big bale. Maybe it's more. Don't quote me on that. I'm here in the top of the Oracle baler. Usually what you do with those stationary bales, you dump in your uh, corn silage, for example. Then it has a conveyor belt, a chain, goes up here, goes into the bell chamber. Once the bell chamber is full, through here, the net, the net or wrap gets sucked into it. You can just make sure. Then the bell chamber opens, goes on the wrapper. Then it turns the bell, once the bell gets out, it's all the crop you could do, for example. Here you have your whole command. That's ma automatic mode here. That's the manual mode. You can do every function. And before the bales get dropped off, they automatically applique a sticker with that pneumatic ram. So uh, every bale has a QR code and you can uh, uh, find the bale, what it is, with moisture sensor, near sensor, whatever you want. That machine is very interesting because it's an autonomous apple picker. So no manual uh, labor required. The machine already know where the trees are and it has those arms that uh, pick the apples go to the tree it can pick up from trees like that it also can pick if it's like only if you have like single tree every 10 meters it's not an issue and it's fully electric it can work for 14 hours and the charging time will be um three hours and it can work day and night it doesn't need light uh, or daylight is not required for the machine that's a um, machine uh, to take care of the weeds organically on the top of the um, carrot rows or other um, vegetables uh, and it's specifically strictly for organic but conventional can also use that instead of a herbicide it goes up to one centimeter to the plant but it requires um, camera guidance like from Garford or class but they recommend the Garford because it's more precise 
that's a huge machine, that sprayer. On the video you might not see it, but it's huge. I, I can stand underneath it, but it can go up hydraulically. Uh, this machine came in, in from the US, from Jackson, from the um, um, Challenger factory, Echo Challenger. And they had to bring it in uh, from there with um, special transport. Um, that's the electric uh, vario vent. Uh, in front is a methane powered battery. And that's a hydrogen vent. That's why they have the big tank on the roof and the hydrogen um, actually creates uh, power and the tractor is actually the drivetrain is electric but that's just a prototype uh, so it's not available for sale now um, yeah and it's like i think 240 horsepower so that's monosem planter the monosem booth that's with electric drive similar to the one I used with um, uh, for planting the sunflowers and that's a mono same planter uh, also with electric drive just the one that I use for uh, planting sunflowers had a mechanical drive with no uh, section control or single row shut off yeah because it, we had a little field it worked all right and we could uh, rent it so we can do it on our own that's the planter that's behind the hydrogen vent it's a horizon planter with precision planter uh, parts on it so that was the last day of agritechnica I will go home now and it's actually the Greek Technica still will be on until Saturday if someone wants to go with some Hanover Germany. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, commentary and subscribe.